What's going on guys, David back again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video for you today. I'm going to be showing you guys a short replay of a deck I played the other day while using a very many versions of the ninja deck that I've kind of created. Um, <clears throat> the ninjas are probably like my favorite archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! to play. So to see that they got new support is really cool. Been experimenting with it, been trying to do things uh, without using the Azold combo, without Hanzo spamming. Um, nothing that, there's nothing wrong with Hanzo spamming, I just want to find if there's any other things you can do uh, with, the, with the deck. And also I just kind of, I don't like drawing the equip spells. Uh, but today I'm going to be talking about just kind of like this really cool duel that I had against this guy. Uh, my opponent was using some kind of mix of Shadal Despia cards. And obviously you see Branded Fusion in there as well. <clears throat> and I was just using my ninja deck. Uh, one of the things you're going to see in this in this duel, which is so cool, you're going to be seeing uh, a card that I haven't seen a whole lot of people talk about in the ninja deck. Um, he's a much older ninja card, but I feel like he, he works extremely well uh, with the new ninjas, uh, using like with Kagero and Mitsu. And his name is Karakori Ninja MDL339 Sazank. Uh, you guys might know this ninja, you guys might not know this ninja. Um, if you're unfamiliar, he's a level 3 machine, and he does have ninja in the name. Uh, but his effect reads, this card must attack if able. When this card, er, <coughs> oh, sorry, when this face of attack position card is selected as an attack target, change it to defense position. Those effects we don't really care about. This is where we, this is kind of what we want here, right here. When this card is flipped face up, select one face up monster on the field and send it to the grave. Okay, send it. Like, like the word send a Yu Gi Oh is gigantic. Uh, it's a non targeting, non destruction effect. Um, and just so happens that with Sazonk, you can pair him with the, in in the Insect Ninja Mitsu, who can flip, and he can, oh my god, <laughs> I can't talk. Insect Ninja, Insect Ninja Mitsu can flip up a face down defense position monster, negating an activated effect your opponent activates. So you can negate with the Mitsu, flip up the Sazonk, and then send any face up monster on your opponent's side of the field to the grave as a non-targeting, non-destruction effect very good and I do it uh, in this duel once or twice but without further ado let's go ahead and jump straight into this um, I might do kind of like a slow comment or a pretty quick commentary over it because obviously it's a sped up replay so it's gonna go really quick uh, but let's just start it so all I had was Hanzo I didn't really <laughs> I really didn't have much uh, any branded fusions right off the rip but I summoned the Jogan because I was gonna use the duplication on the Jogan to get out even more ninja since he's a high level ninja and right there, we already have the uh, Insect Mitsu and the Sonk just off the duplication. And then we also have just Green Ninja. And the reason I, I got the Green Ninja was because I had Shadow Ceiling set. And Shadow Ceiling plus Green Ninja is kind of like a two card removal in a sense by being able to banish a monster and then using Green Ninja's effect when sent to the grave to put my opponent's monster face down. So it's kind of like a two card removal if you use it like that. But now we already have one negate set up with the in with the insect ninja Mitsu and the Sazong face down defensive position. Oh, let's continue. And we do have our field spell in play, which is amazing against the uh, the Mirror Jade, because obviously Village can protect every ninja on the board from Mirror Jade's effect. So I equip it to that. And I, I kind of do mess up here because I forgot that <coughs> the village doesn't protect on the face down defense, the face down defense position monsters. So in the end, Mirror Jade killed the Sazonk again, but that's okay. Not a big deal. And he, I think this is where he fucked up putting that there, but maybe he did. I don't know. And there we go. Uh, that's another thing. So we used not we used Mizen to uh, special summon Kagero. Kagura effects activates when he's summoned. Then we get to add a ninja from the graveyard and add it to the and add it to the uh, the field face down defense position. So then we add Sazonk again. So now Sazonk's live. A big thing about this card too is that he's not once per turn. So if you can manage to put him down like multiple times and reflip him multiple times using whatever card effects you desire, he can go off multiple times. So yeah, I yeah construct like see. 
Sent it again up to Sazonk. The Sazonk helps me quite a bit, to be honest with you. Kagero summons. Kagero effect activates. Special summon another Kagero. Special summon Sazonk. Like just like it's really it's really cool playing this in a different way than normal, just with the old package. Uh, I, 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 I really do enjoy the true pure ninja form. And then now we'd see here again, we already have Me Too because of the, uh, because of Mizen. And then we already have the Sazonk because of Kagero set him back to the board for us. So your Kagero can keep resetting Sazonk every time he's summoned. Um, and obviously you're going to have Me Too quite a bit because of Mizen. And I run three Me Too in the deck, so that, that gives you an idea. I just really wanted to uh, save this duel because I thought it was really cool and I know Shadal and Despia are very good cards and I mean he was a very good player and this was a very close game. But, yeah, I, mean, I mean you can see his board now, uh, let's go back previous step here, pause. So he obviously, so, I mean he has the, uh, the, the Branded Dragon, the, uh, the Kaliga. And then the Searing Dragon. So, I mean, he's got Fair Dills now. So, I have a Negate, Ascend, and a Transformation. So, so we obviously use the Sazonk to send the Kaliga, because obviously now we can activate more than one effect. And then I was going to Super Transform Sazonk into this, but then he summoned this. I think he gets Winda here. Yeah. And I was going to summon this to pop two, which would have been amazing. This is the new card that just came out of Power of the Elements in the TCG for a Super Transformation target. And I was like, fuck it, let's just run him over. And he, he, just, he has the Alistair in hand to give it a thousand attack, uh, which is fine. So we went ahead and set the Sazonk again because it's broken and we have another effect he activates an effect in grave i then uh and obviously think like so look at it like this i'm still in the end my turn we're in the end phase here i use a zonk to hit the the caliga he then used that trap to summon winda um so i'm using Sazonk again because i was i man i was man i managed to set it because of the baku if i remember right so now that Baku sets it again, it's live for another negate, which Sazonk isn't once per turn, so I, I can activate it again. So we're gonna negate the card in the graveyard from the Mitsu, and then hit the window with the Sazonk again. Negate, send, he activates Winda's effect. Tax me a first all snow, your servant, Tisses. And I was fine with him detesting the Kagero, just primarily because uh, because when Kagero is in the grave, he kind of protects your ninjas as well if they're being targeted. So uh, yeah. This call by the grave saves me here. So obviously, I have a very big board. He's only got 5,000 life points left. I can probably go for game here in a minute. But obviously he's going to activate the Shadal Rook, uh, which says during the main phase you can feature summon one Shadal fusion monster from your deck by banishing the materials. Okay, so this is kind of where I, where I get him. I call by the one Winda, or the one Shadal monster he has in the grave, <laughs> which then disables this, and then he texted me and said GG, and I won the game. Uh, I thought it was a really good game. I got branded fusion, I feel like three different times. Uh, very annoying card. But I really I just kind of wanted to show you guys this really cool duel with ninjas. Um, they're my favorite archetype, and I'm constantly trying to figure out new different things with them. Uh, especially like without without his ult, just because I feel like that's kind of the go-to, because it, it definitely is probably the better version of the deck, is his ulting and building a gigantic board with like uh, <coughs> the ocean dragon and abusing Hanzo a billion times. It's definitely probably the better deck. But I'm just trying to find different and new things to do. But for this one primarily, I just wanted to show you guys the power of uh, the Karakuri Ninja. Uh, I think he's insane paired with Mitsu and being able to be recovered constantly with the Kagero. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you guys like the Sazonk or is he just a, uh, you know, if he, is he just taking up room in the deck? I only run one. 
Uh, I, I made another deck where I just constantly abuse him because I have three in the deck. Because uh, he's not once per turn, so you can activate multiple on the board if you needed to. But yeah, in this version, I only run one. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, what you think of the song play? What you guys think of the duel? I thought it was pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of it, honestly. Uh, but if you guys like the content, uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see a deck profile version of this deck, uh, I can make that. Um, there already is another Ninja deck profile on my list, or on my YouTube page, but this one's a little bit, little bit different. Uh, but if you guys want to do more in-depth uh, Ninja combo, Ninja fun idea videos, just let me know. And I would love to make them for you, because this is just a deck that I just genuinely have a whole lot of fun messing around with. Uh, but thanks to you guys for check out, checking out the channel. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.